Hello and welcome to another episode of Friends Food and Fun. My name is Brian Upward, I'm your host, and I'm joined here with my sidekick, Helenka. Hello, my dear. She's kind of uh, speechless today. Somebody else has her voice, I would guess. Well, it's not by choice. <laughs> not I, by I, choice, I, though. I assure you. So, I'm going to be doing most of the talking this time, but she can interject whenever she needs to. Okay. So, um, the first thing we're going to talk about is um, what meal we're having. So, we're cooking, we're actually reviewing this book. This is a new edition of Cook This, Not That. It's the, uh, it's the second version of this book, which is, I'm finding fascinating as well. Really enjoying it. They're very quick and easy recipes so far. And we're doing a special one today, which is, I'm going to look at the page. It's called Chili Mango Chicken. I love mango. I think you do too. We both love chicken. And uh, we do happen to like chili as well. Yes. Or chili peppers. And yes. Kind of so I've got a pan heating up here um, for a uh, high because we're going to have to heat up some uh, chicken Pe uh, peanut, peanut oil. oil. That's it. Yeah. Now, now the first thing you had to do is you have to actually marinate your chicken in some cornstarch, soy sauce, and sesame oil. So what I'm going to do first is let me show you what I did in order to uh, get that marinade going. It was very simple and easy. So let's switch to that. Okay, so in order to prepare for the chicken um, in our chili mango chicken uh, that we're having here, I have here some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I have some cornstarch, and we have some sesame oil, and I also have some soy sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up these chicken thighs. Sometimes I like to call them chicken ties. I know Helenka makes fun of me at times too. She's right now on the couch relaxing. So I'm going to put these in here quickly. Now the reason why I'm doing this at this point in time is because it's got to marinate for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cut these into about half inch pieces. And got lots of chicken. My final piece in the pot it goes. We're using my famous ugly bowl. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a tablespoon of cornstarch. So we've got cornstarch here. Uh, Sprinkle that on. Then the next thing I'm going to put in is my soy sauce, which is this one here, and that is a tablespoon of um, soy sauce. So, and our last ingredient is mm, sesame oil, and the sesame oil is about a half a tablespoon of that. And I might have been a little bit extra generous on this because I think I have more than uh, what it calls for. So what I'm going to do now, this is kind of like a mar uh, marinade, so I'm going to use Mr. Spoon here, and we're just going to get the chicken all gushed up, and we have to leave this sit for about 10 minutes. It's all nice and coated. Okay, and we've got that done. It's done. Um, here's our end result after 10 minutes of lovely marination. So I'm going to put this right here for now, right in front of Missy, and I'm going to heat up my peanut oil. So luckily enough, based upon another recipe that we had, I had most of this ingredients already. So I've got my pan heated on high. We got some sizzle going. Now I've got a, a this is a sweet onion, and it's a, I'm using this instead of a, 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 a red, red onion. onion. So I'm, we're gonna try to get this going first. For right. One to two minutes. Thank you. One to two minutes. Now the whole idea of, of doing this whole thing, this is about two minutes are up now, is you got to keep the vegetables in motion at all times. So uh, I'm going to add in sugar snap peas, so we're going to heat these up for another minute or so. I'm going to put those in. Now the other thing I wanted to add is, if you couldn't find sugar snap peas, you just use green beans. I've cut these up. So it's approximately two cups. So you're going to heat this up for about another minute or so. The other thing you're supposed to do is add in ginger too. Oops. I kind of forgot that too, but that's okay. We're going to add that in now. I just saw that sitting there. Poor ginger. It was all alone. Now that was about a tablespoon of freshly uh, grated ginger. Oh, time's up. Alright, now, what are we supposed to add in? All the chicken, all including the marinade. Including the marinade. So we're just pop, pop. Yep. And dump this in. And two minutes. And two minutes. Yes. Okay. Keep things going in constant motion. You don't want it to burn. 
So two minutes is an approximate amount of time. Keep an eye out on your chicken. You do want to cook. You don't want raw chicken. So I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more time. So. Okay. So next up is... Can I be very afraid? What? One tablespoon of chili sauce. I'm thinking... Why don't you mix the chili sauce first into the mango, and then distribute So, what is that? Does it say a tablespoon, or does it say yes, it, it does? does? Okay. Now, this Halik and I... It's powerful. It's po very... It's hugely potent. Hugely potent. So, um... Mix it with that That's first. not going to work. These are chunks. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so we're making a sauce out of this. Garlic, but we're going to try the original recipe way yeah. and see what happens. And we will make notes if we think garlic would do something like this. So the whole idea by putting a mango in here and cooking it down is to make it somewhat into a sauce. Yes. So I think that's a lovely idea. And even if it doesn't, you still have the different textures. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that was the best. Yes. Amazing. Alright, so we're gonna have Missy here. Give it a go. Try her out. See. How fabulous How it is. Fabulous it is. We're just gonna do it a little while well, this continues to sizzle down. Yes. I'm turning the heat off. I just let it continue to cook. Alright, okay. so you get a little bit. So you get to try whichever one you want, the chicken. Well, I have to be able to recognize it. Mm -hmm. That's chicken. Chick chick. different flavor. Can you taste the chili um, oh. sauce? It's, yes, I can just swallow it. <laughs> no, it makes its presence. No. Is yes. it one of those hidden little ingredients? But it's not, it's not killing me. Good. I think that's it. Wow. Wow, that was a fast. Yes. Amazing. All right, so we're going to have Missy here. Give it a go. Try her out and see how fabulous how it is. Fabulous it is. We're just going to do it a little while well, this continues to sizzle down. Yes. I'm turning the heat off. I just let it continue to cook. All right, okay. so you get a little bit. So you get to try whichever one you want the chicken. Well, I have to, I have to be onion. able to recognize it. Mm -hmm. That's chicken. Chick, chick. It's a different flavor. Can you taste the chili um, oh. sauce? It's, yes, I can just swallow it. <laughs> no, it makes its presence. No. Is yes. it one of those hidden little ingredients? But it's not, it's not killing me. Good. So. Yeah, so the mango, we're supposed to cook that down, so I just want to make sure we continue to stir this while she's trying it out. How's that? I, I like it in its more firmer state. Okay. I think if this were summer, we'd probably be getting ripe tomatoes. Oh, quite possibly, yeah. But I do like it this so, way because there's more, um, once again, more uh, definite texture. Okay, so she's saying more definite texture in case you can't hear her because yeah. she's got the little yes. Christmas voice going. Yes. Good. But it's fabulous. It's a good meal. Great. Yes. Well, thank you again for watching another episode of Friends Food and Fun with a myself. A very Ryan. fast one. It's a very incredibly fast. <laughs> Episode. Actually, I'm very glad because it's a good recipe, I think, um, to try and replicate yeah. again and again again because, you know, how busy you can get, right? So, for other episodes and our blog, please visit friendsfoodfun.tv and we'll see you again soon. So, take care for now. Cheers. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.